Hello YouTube. Now, whenever this video gets up, probably going to be a whole lot of videos up all at once. But uh, because here lately I've been working late and uh, by the time I get home, you know, 9.30 or so, I just don't feel like doing a whole lot of anything. Um, though it probably wouldn't take me too long to edit videos, I just haven't gotten any up yet. But uh, so anyways, um, just more excuses, but so be it. Um, at any rate, I do have videos from last weekend and I, if this one gets up before some of the others, then you guys will see some of the others along the way. But we got some shop work because it's starting to get cold out. Now, some of you guys may recognize this car as a Volkswagen Golf. And my buddy from Fargo, Andy, will be very tickled pink to see this one on YouTube. Story on this one goes that uh, Andy bought it for going back and forth to work, gets excellent mileage. You know, got a five speed, it's a diesel, 1.6, non-turbo. Um, so anyways, he bought it, run it for quite a while, and uh, all of a sudden he started having troubles, or no, uh, excuse me, I gotta go back now a step. He uh, overheated it, had a hole in the radiator or something along those lines, overheated it, and, uh, and uh, so warped the head, cracked the head or whatever happened. So he brought a brand new head for it, and um, bought a brand new head for it, got it all put together, drove it for a little longer, and all of a sudden it wouldn't start. Couldn't get it to start for nothing. Checked the glow plugs, relay, blah, 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 compression, timing, messed with everything, couldn't get it to go. So I went up to Fargo in, uh, boy, I can't even remember when it was, but I went up to Fargo, must have been in late August, I went up to Fargo to move Roman's sister, the hairy Hungarian sister, up to college in uh, for Moorhead. So we stayed with Andy. Well, we went out, and I'd never heard this car even run, just heard him talk about it. And so he, uh, I bugging him, you know, hey, let's start the car. He says, oh, okay, well, you can pull start it, but you can't get it to start with the key. And so we got it pull started, and I drove it around quite a bit, you know, I was afraid to shut it off. And, Says, oh yeah, well the battery's no good. You know, go to go to. Um, uh, it wasn't Tractor Supply, I don't think. Maybe it was Fleet Farm. Is either Fleet Farm or Tractor Supply? Got the battery taken care of on warranty. Put the battery in, and obviously I had to shut the car off to do it. Well, I didn't have to, but I did. Who is that? Oh, well, that's Dad. I'm not gonna answer it. But uh, anyways, put the battery in. Started it right up. Thought, well, what the hell. So then I was feeling okay about shutting it off. So shut it off and it started, just kept starting. Well, I kept, I was bugging Andy about it, you know, and he says, well, you know, can't get nothing for it around here. And uh, can't get nothing for it around here. So uh, he says, well, just, uh, you know, why don't you take it? So, oh, okay, you know, and we negotiated a price, picked it up for pretty cheap and uh, drove it home. You know, drove my Lincoln up there, drove a Lincoln and a Volkswagen Golf back. Well, my sister was needing the car because the 95 Neon that you guys saw us destroy in one of the previous videos was hers, and it was a raging pile of crap, and it was, they were going to have to sink probably close to three grand into it just to get it back on the road because it's like everything just puked all at once. Tranny was making some funny noises, air conditioner pump was shot and throwing sparks everywhere, wheel bearing went out. <clears throat> in the front and then there's a wheel bearing out in the back the brakes were bad it it had some troubles and then there was it was running pretty decent but that's about the only thing that was good about that neon and i do still have that motor if somebody wants a good motor for a neon i still got it but anyways so i give this car to my sister and she has absolutely loved it you wouldn't expect a 16 17 year old girl to love a volkswagen golf but she does so but it's got a couple little quirks well, one major quirk. At this point, none of the outside door handles work. Which is a problem, obviously, because it makes it really hard to get into the car. So, it used to be this one here worked, and that was the only one that worked, and then all the insides worked, but 
<clears throat> used to be this ins this one worked and so you'd reach around you know the front and grab it well then this one quit so the only way to get into it now is the back hatch which is a pain in the butt so what we're going to do here is i got this unscrewed we're going to take this door handle out and at least open it up so that she can at least get into the car without having to open the back hatch oh dear i think i May have just broke that broken door handle. Oh, no. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, since it was already broken, I'm not terribly concerned about it. But, so, what I did is I took that door handle off, and then you just take this, and you push down, and this door's a little sticky, and you pull out. So now we got the door handle open. Pop the hood here, and I'll show you the beastly power plant that's under here. Now I'm not going to quote any horsepower numbers because quite honestly I have absolutely no clue what the uh, <laughs> what the 1.6 natural aspirated diesel makes but I will tell you that this car is slow. <clears throat> On the upside of it she is making uh, about 46 miles a gallon which is far better than she ever got with that neon. <clears throat> then the neon got really inconsistent towards the end heaven's sakes and sometimes it would make you know 20 miles a gallon and sometimes it would make 30 you know you just didn't know and this one I mean it runs great starts you know it starts fair for a diesel looks like you know there's a little oil around it and the reason being because when I changed the oil I forgot to put the cap on um, everybody's got a stupid I guess forgot to put the cap on it spewed oil everywhere but she's been complaining about a coolant leak and so I gotta pinpoint that they said it's coming from the bottom I might have to fire it up and let it run a bit but I as of right now I'm not seeing anything to be honest but it's got those chintzy uh, squeeze clamps I really don't like these kind of clamps so I may just swap those out in favor of the better uh, screw clamps but anyways so Fire it up, see if we can get it warm anyways. Warm enough to get it warm enough to uh, um, make some leaking. So, glow plugs. And off and cycle it again, glow plugs. Yeah. Again. I didn't have my foot to the floor. Oh, that's strange. Usually it fires right up. Maybe I gotta pull the throttle advance a bit. Come on, little car. Out of the what? Out of the, the intake. Out of the intake? What do you mean out of the intake? Out of where? Out of here? Yeah. Oh, that's the intake. Where's it coming? Oh, it's coming from down below. It's just smoking. Anyways. Um, open the garage door, would you? Please. Yep. Okay. I think I gave it too much gas or something. I don't know what I did, but... There it goes. Woo Look at the smoke. Hey, open it all the way and let me out of here. <laughs> 